In a previous video, I hiked into a remote canyon in the Four Corners region, searching for Native American ruins. Very quickly, I started seeing buildings, pottery, even an arrowhead. I suspected if I ventured further in, more discoveries would be made. So in I went. Pretty sure I see something man-made up there. I'm going to try to zoom in and show you guys. You see that right up there? To me that looks like a door or a window of some kind. That's quite a bit of ground. <laughs> there it gives you perspective. That's quite a bit of ground to cover. I don't know if my eyes are deceiving me, but it looks like man-made walls up there. So I'm walking up this wash, see if I can find a way up top. I've climbed up high enough now to where I can definitely tell there's some kind of a wall up there, maybe a couple. Using my lens I can definitely see there's something right there in the middle. All right, so this is pretty wild. I've literally just been standing here about the last 10 minutes, kind of contemplating all of this. But it's definitely, I don't know if they're granaries or you know house blocks, but some kind of ancient structure up along this rim here. And there's, there's one right there in the middle, and then you probably can see the other one's more obvious. And it's, it might be hard to tell via the video, but that over here in the center of the screen, that's just basically like a sheer wall. And then this thing in the middle might look like it's not that steep, but it's actually very steep. There's that little crack above the tree, and that's the only way I can see up it. It's just got sheer walls above. But that's, I mean, that's full on rock climbing moves there, and this rock is not very good quality. <laughs> I'm tempted, but I value my life too much, I think, too attempt that. But man, they got all that material up there, built all that, stored things up there, maybe even lived up there. It's just crazy. This is looking up the chute that you'd have to climb up. They're up on that upper ledge there. Definitely pretty serious stuff. So there's just pottery and pieces of shirt just strewn all over the place below here. I picked up a few of the best pieces. Don't worry, I'm gonna put them back where I found them. Um, but just to show you guys, this one in particular, look at that. It's like the rim of a cup. I've seen mugs. Basically it looks like a modern day coffee mug in, um, in museums before, and this looks like that was probably a piece of that. You can still see some of the the lines, the design on it. This is like a corrugated style. You'll see a lot of this. Pretty decent sized chunk of it. And this is a lot. These aren't arrowheads or stone tools or anything like that. But there's a ton of the rock here that they would have used for it. And these are, I'm sure, little chips off of it of stuff they were making up here. Here's another really cool piece I just found. Look at that. Just the the black design on that. Pretty nice chunk. Wow. So this is as close as I can get to them. Probably still 35 feet below. Just, yeah, I mean, if, if I had my climbing shoes and a rope and a way to protect that, I mean, yeah, it's definitely climbable, but definitely don't want to free solo that. Just to give you an idea of how far up off the canyon floor it is. There it is out there. So I came up a little bit higher and voila! This is definitely what I saw down at the bottom originally. 
I saw that that window right there and I was just like that does not look natural yeah this uh, might have been two different granaries one's kind of knocked down but this one on the left is still in good shape look at all those cobwebs on the door definitely not gonna put my camera in there So the set of runes we weren't able to check out is right around this corner. It's just a sheer drop off. So they had that set and then this set, you know, just kind of right behind me that I just showed you guys. I've just kind of been sitting up here, you know, thinking about it all. It's just not only the age of these structures, you know, again, in this area, it's, it's hard to say, but probably somewhere between eight to 800 to 1200 years old. But really what I was just thinking about is, you know, I'm probably 300 feet off the canyon floor here. It took quite a bit of problem solving getting up here. And like this was their, it, at a minimum, this was their storage units, you know, where they stored kind of surplus food, maybe some water, surplus supplies. And who knows, maybe that other structure over there was a house. I, I couldn't get to it. You know, you wouldn't choose to build stuff up here unless you had... A compelling reason to you know there was some sort of pressure that they were under that caused them to move up high and uh, it's just fascinating to to wonder why you know why why this time in the southwest's history you know there's about 300 years it's believed of sort of these cliff dwellings being built so what was going on in those 300 years I'm not going to solve that mystery today, but I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the episode. Hit subscribe, hit like, it means a lot to me. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.